In this episode, we talk about who Zendesk for Service is not suited for. Let's get into it. Hi there, welcome to part three of a 10 part series on everything that you need to know about Zendesk for Service. I'm Devin Hennig with Select Hub, and I'm here to give you a detailed tour and my honest, unbiased opinions about Zendesk for Service, its platform, its pricing, its alternatives, and more. In this episode, we answer the question, who is Zendesk for Service not suited for? Let's get into it. As explained in the previous video, Zendesk for Service is best suited for businesses seeking a robust customer support platform to manage customer interactions across channels and improve customer satisfaction. Here are two of the main scenarios in which Zendesk may not be a perfect fit. Scenario number one, businesses with very simple support needs. Zendesk for Service is an omni-channel service solution, so it may have more bells and whistles than what a company handling all customers or support requests through a single channel, for example, email only, may need. Scenario number two, companies that don't have a high volume of customer support tickets. If a business handles most of its customer support interactions in person or doesn't have a high volume of support tickets or customer inquiries, then a full featured platform like Zendesk might be more advanced than necessary. There you go. Short and sweet, two of the main scenarios in which Zendesk for Service is not a good fit. Next up, we cover features, a much meatier topic. For the rest of this series, including the full review and Zendesk for Service alternatives, check out the links in the description. If you're at the point you just wanna to talk to someone or see Zendesk for Service in action, get a demo in the description or download our customer support and CX resources. They're great if you're still in the research phase of your buying journey. All right, folks, that's it, that's all. Have a good one. Cheers.